Today, I'm out to prove you are never too busy to cook. I'm making my Mexican lasagna. Couldn't be simpler. I've got my chicken. This is about a pound and a half of ground chicken breast browning up here in just a little bit of oil. All I had to chop for this was half of one red onion. I spiced it up with some cumin for smoke and chili powder for heat, a little salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna add some beans. Now remember, you could use ground beef in this, you could use ground turkey, whatever you feel like, whatever you have on hand or in the freezer. I'm adding one can of black beans. Got some stuck in the bottom there, I'm gonna get those out. You could also use red beans, pinto beans. It's all about whatever you have on hand for this meal. It's a method you're picking up here, not necessarily a recipe. I'm gonna use one cup of taco sauce, which is one small bottle. If you don't have taco sauce on hand, great substitutes would be salsa of any kind, and that's sort of what taco sauce tastes like, like a cooked salsa. Um, you could use green salsa, like a tomatillo salsa. That would be delicious in this, especially if you make it with the ground chicken. You could even use a can of stewed tomatoes, because you've got some spice from the chili powder. So I'm gonna mix all that in. Now I'm gonna add some corn for color, and because I love corn. Okay. Let's build ourselves a little Mexican lasagna here. Gonna drizzle just a touch of EVOO on the bottom there. I'm gonna layer in about half the meat and beans. Now I'm gonna get my cheese in there. A few handfuls of that cheddar going around. You wanna put the cheese next to the meat because the meat is nice and hot and it'll start the cheese melting. Then I've got my spinach tortillas here. You can use any flavor you like. You find these on the dairy aisle right near the cheese. Nice of them to put it so conveniently located for you. When was the last time you made a lasagna this fast? Oh, come on. Get out of there, will you? Layers and layers of meat and cheese. Now, save enough cheese. You're only going to get about two and a half cups in one of these sacks. Save enough cheese for your top layer there because that's what makes that pretty, pretty finish when it comes out. There we go. You gotta have cheese on top to melt up for you. Okay, now into a 425 oven, and remember, everything's pretty much fully cooked here, so you're really just melting cheese and warming tortillas through. Yeah. Ooh, check out this Mexican lasagna. Oh, wait till you see how great that cheese melted up. Nice, look how good that looks. I've got the layers of spiced up chicken and black beans and corn. I put a little taco sauce in there, or you could use some stewed tomatoes or salsa. Then I layered it just with plain old flour tortillas. I bought the spinach variety. Get whichever ones you like. I always have those on hand. They're so great for wraps and everything. Check this out, huh? Nice. I'm all out of time for today. I gotta go. Ooh, this is gonna be so good.